Religion is like a penis it's okay to have one, it's okay to be proud of it. However, do not pull it out in public, do not push it on children, do not write laws with it, and do not think with it. Religion and a penis, as strange as it may sound, share some commonalities. Both are deeply personal matters that should be kept private. Both can be a source of great pride and joy, but neither should be forced on others. And just as we don't want laws to be too influenced by a penis, we don't want them to be too influenced by religion. Private Matters Religion is a deeply personal matter. It's perfectly fine to have one and even be proud of it. However, just as you wouldn't go around showing off your private parts in public, it's generally a good idea to keep your religious beliefs to yourself when you're in a public setting. After all, nobody wants unsolicited theology lessons while waiting in line for their morning coffee. Consent and Indoctrination Nobody appreciates it when someone forces an opinion on them. Similarly, it's essential to recognize that pushing religious beliefs on someone, especially children, isn't considered respectful. It's like forcing someone to look at, touch, or interact with a certain male organ without their consent, not a pleasant experience for anyone involved. Separation of church and state. Just as we wouldn't want laws that are too influenced by a particular male organ's whims, if it could think, it's essential to maintain a clear separation between religious beliefs and the laws governing a society. The famous separation of church and state principle aims to ensure that religious beliefs don't dictate legal and political decisions. Critical thinking. Finally, it's vital to remember that having a sense of humor and a critical mind is essential. Don't let your religious beliefs cloud your judgment. It's as if you're letting a certain male organ make your decisions, not the wisest choice. Instead, approach religion with an open heart and an open mind, and encourage respectful dialogue, just as you would in any other intellectual conversation. Conclusion So, while the comparison between religion and a penis might be amusing, the underlying message is clear, respect and consideration for others' beliefs are crucial. Keep your religious discussions private, avoid indoctrination, don't let it influence laws disproportionately, and, most importantly, use your critical thinking skills. After all, we should all strive to be understanding, considerate, and, well, wise about both our spiritual beliefs and our private parts.